a number pool Wednesday, kids. Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Tin, and welcome to our class. Imagine this. Your mother bought 510 kg of peanuts and 2,500 kg of cashew nuts. What do you call the numbers 5 tenths and 2,500? These numbers are called decimals. For today's session, we will talk about decimals and the fundamental operations involving it like addition and subtraction. Are you ready? Come on and let's begin our numberful journey. As we learn how to add and subtract decimals, we will answer these three questions. First, what is a decimal number? Second, how do we read a decimal number? And lastly, what should we remember in adding and subtracting decimals? The number 5 tenths and 25 hundredths earlier are called decimal numbers. A decimal number is used to represent a part of a whole. It represents values between 0 and 1. The dot in the decimal number that separates the whole number part from the fractional part or the decimal part is called a decimal point. In the number 327, the digit 7 is in the ones place, meaning 7 ones, which is 7. The digit 2 is in the tens place, meaning 2 tens, which is 20. And the digit 3 is in the hundreds place, meaning 3 hundreds or 300. What did you notice? Very good! As we move to the left, each place value is 10 times bigger and as we move to the right, each place value is 10 times smaller. But what if we continue moving past ones? Do you know what is 10 times smaller than ones? Fantastic! 1 over tens are. Remember this, kids. To know exactly where the ones position is, put a decimal point first. So let's have another example. We can continue with smaller and smaller values from tenths to hundreds and so on, just like in this example. On the left side of the decimal point is a whole number, such as 17. As we move further to the left, every place gets 10 times bigger. While the first digit on the right of the decimal point is a decimal number, tenths or 1 over 10. As we move further to the right, every place gets 10 times smaller, 1 tenth as big. Can you read this decimal number? Don't worry, I will help you. To read the decimal number, first, Read the digits to the left of the decimal point as a whole number. Second, read the decimal point as end. Third, read the digits to the right of the decimal point as a whole number followed by the place value of the rightmost digit. To help us read and write decimals properly, we can use a place value chart like this. Therefore, we can read this decimal number as 17 and 591 thousands. Let's try reading more decimal numbers. Let's go! How do you read this decimal number? Good job! This is read as 468 and 79 hundreds. How about this one? Very good! We read this as 5,659 and 73 ten thousands. The last one. How do you read this one? Awesome! This is 71 and 982 thousands. 
You did great! Since we already know about decimals, we can now try solving addition problems involving it. Are you ready? Come on, let's go! Adding decimals is easy if you know how to align. It's basically like adding whole numbers, but this time with a decimal point. To add decimals, follow these steps. 1. Write the decimal numbers vertically and align the decimal point. 2. Add in the same way as we add whole numbers. Ready to try it? Okay, I am excited too. Hmm, well, let's find the sum of 3 and 50 hundreds, 5 and 12 hundreds, and 1 and 2 tenths. For step 1, rewrite the numbers vertically where the decimal points are aligned in the same column. You may place 0 for the addends to have the same number of decimal places. Then for step 2, add in the same way as we add whole numbers. Starting with the decimal number on the farthest right, add the numbers vertically up to the whole number on the farthest left. 0 plus 2 plus 0 equals 2. 5 plus 1 plus 2 equals 8. 3 plus 5 plus 1 equals 9. The sum of these decimal numbers is 9 and 82 hundredths. Let's have one more. Now try solving this problem on your own. Find the sum of 83 and 54 hundredths, 71 and 632 thousandths, and 305 and 7 tenths. That's correct. The sum of these decimal numbers is 460 and 872 thousands. That was fun. But wait kids, there's more. Now, let's learn how to subtract decimal numbers. Just like in addition, alignment is the key in subtraction. To subtract decimals, follow these steps. 1. Write the decimal numbers vertically and align the decimal point. 2. Subtract in the same way as we subtract whole numbers and regroup if necessary. So let's find the difference between 5 and 12 hundreds and 3 and 5 tenths. For step 1, rewrite the numbers vertically where the decimal points are aligned in the same column. You may place 0 to have the same number of decimal places. Then, for step 2, subtract in the same way as we subtract whole numbers. Starting with the decimal number on the farthest right, subtract the numbers vertically up to the whole number on the farthest left. Regroup if necessary. 2 minus 0 equals 2. Since we cannot subtract 5 from 1, we will borrow from the number on the left of 1, which is 5. Eleven minus 5 equals 6. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Awesome! The difference of these decimal numbers is 1 and 62 hundreds. Now, 
Can you try answering this problem? Find the difference between 257 and 8 tenths and 98 and 92 hundredths. Fantastic! The difference of these decimal numbers is 158 and 88 hundreds. You did great, kids! Now let's go back to our three questions earlier. A decimal number is used to represent a part of a whole. It represents values between 0 and 1 and contains a decimal point. To read the decimal number, we should follow these steps. First, read the digits to the left of the decimal point as a whole number. Second, read the decimal point as end. Third, Read the digits to the right of the decimal point as a whole number followed by the place value of the rightmost digit. When adding and subtracting decimals, 1. Write the decimal numbers vertically and align the decimal point. 2. Add or subtract in the same way as we add or subtract whole numbers. You're fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about adding and subtracting decimals today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Teacher Tin and see you on our next Number Poll Wednesday.